People have asked me, where did you get the idea of precision broiler breeder feeding? And I feel kind of lucky because the very first time I was assigned the task of feeding broiler breeders, I thought, I just need to add the weight of feed to the weight of the birds and together that'll be the target weight that we're after. The problem is, in a flock of five or 10,000 broiler breeders, it's virtually impossible to know exactly what they weigh at any point in time. Precision broiler breeder feeding is a way for us to get the body weight information that we need from every individual bird and use that to decide whether or not a bird needs feed right now. Broiler breeders are the parents of chickens that are raised for meat. Broilers are an efficient way to produce meat for your table. Broilers have been bred for rapid growth and feed efficiency. They have a short generation time and lots of chicks. As a result, chickens today grow five times as fast as chickens 60 years ago. This is due to genetics and nutrition, not hormone feeding, which is a very common misunderstanding. Broiler breeders that are allowed to express their genetic potential for growth end up being very poor parents. Therefore, the birds have a highly formalized Weight Watchers program, allowing them to grow at a rate that keeps them in great shape for egg production and mating. Birds of the right weight produce a lot more chicks. It's important to know right now what the birds weigh. Not having real-time body weight feedback is sort of like driving with your eyes closed. The more feedback your eyes provide your brain, the better you can drive. The more you know about the bird you're about to feed, the better your feed decision can be. My team has designed a precision feeding system for broiler breeders that takes feedback from individual birds and makes a decision in real time whether or not to feed the bird. Our goal is to listen to every bird in the flock so that we can meet their individual needs. Precision farming works where there is variation in a trait that's important to you. We know that broiler breeder body weight is important for producing high quality chicks. It's important that we can measure the trait. That's also becoming easier and cheaper with advancements in technology. We simply need to provide a scale. Because of the cost of labor, we needed to find a way for birds to volunteer to weigh themselves. We thought, if they know there's a chance to eat, they'll cooperate. And that has definitely worked out well. If we know a bird is light, we feed it. If we know a bird is heavy, we don't feed it. The birds kept surprising us. Um, part of it was as they grew and as they matured, uh, the bird behavior kept, uh, kept changing and we had to ensure that uh, the system worked well to keep the birds safe. As with any automation system design, safety of the user is of the utmost importance. Fortunately with the birds, they don't learn behavior the same way the humans do, so we have to watch out for them to a higher degree. This meant making sure that they don't pinch themselves or get caught in the inner workings of the machine. We also chose materials to make sure that the birds didn't get contaminated as a food supply. With precision feeding, the farmer will be able to listen to the story of each individual bird and respond to her needs. What precision feeding really allows is for the bird to really tell their own individual story to the producer. And what this allows is for producers to make better management decisions. We recently ran a pilot study with the Precision Broiler Breeder Feeding Station. Within just a couple of weeks of precision feeding, we reduced body weight variation by over a half. Precision fed birds had less than a third of the body weight range of conventionally fed birds. With precision feeding, we were able to prevent the problem of the biggest birds getting bigger. And probably most importantly, we were able to help the smallest birds keep up to the rest of the flock. To our knowledge, no one has achieved this level of uniformity in free run birds, neither in commercial barns nor in research settings. We expect this high uniformity will result in more eggs per hen. If both hens and roosters are more fit, they will successfully complete more matings and the net result will be more chicks. The precision feeding system has the potential to simulate grazing by allowing the birds to eat multiple meals. And it may also simulate foraging behavior by allowing the birds to come through the system looking for food. By simulating these behaviors, it's possible that there would be less abnormal behaviors within the flock like spot pecking, aggressive feather pecking, and pacing. Recent studies have shown that birds are healthier if they are fed more often. Disease-causing organisms are less of a problem when food is present in the gut. For this reason, we want to allow broiler breeders to spread their foraging 
and feed intake throughout the day. With the Precision Broiler Breeder feeding system, we managed both meal size and the time that birds were allowed to eat in one sitting. On average, birds ate every five to six hours throughout the day, compared to a meal every 24 or even 48 hours in conventional feeding systems. In a recent study, we found 6% higher feed efficiency when birds were fed daily compared to every other day. By feeding every five or six hours with precision feeding system, birds are getting nutrients from their feed right when they need them. They have a nice stable metabolism. We hypothesize that the precision broiler breeder feeding system will improve animal welfare. Once a bird is in the feeding station, it can eat without being bothered by other birds. This reduces the stress of having to compete for feed. Every precision fed bird is more likely to get the feed it needs, increasing its fitness and reducing health problems associated with being overweight or underweight. We have already been able to understand birds in ways that we never could before. With all of the information we now have on individual birds, we see that they are unique individuals and we're beginning to understand how a seemingly little thing like how fast an individual eats can relate to the pecking order and why uniformity is as problematic as it is in conventional feeding systems. Precision broiler breeder feeding presents many practical benefits for the hatching egg producer. It operates continuously and reduces the labor needed to weigh birds and feed. It provides feedback that helps producers better understand the flock. This will help them make better management decisions. Managing broiler breeders well is labor intensive. Rather than grading birds with an army of workers, precision feeding is a way to grade or sort the birds automatically and continuously. It gives small birds a better chance to keep up to their flock mates. The precision feeding system can feed males and females separately without the need for specialized feeding equipment and management, such as grill spacing, feeder height, or even invasive treatments like nose bones. Precision feeding to me from what I've heard so far would be trying to meet the needs of an individual bird because not all birds are the same and some birds have different requirements. You know, the more precisely you can feed a bird, the better production that you're going to get in your lay barns and the more successful you're going to be as a producer. If you can precisely feed a bird its exact energy uh, requirements, exactly what it needs to function without transitioning that feed into a large amount of body mass, I think uh, our job as hatching egg producers has become a lot easier. Uniform birds respond like their flock mates to photostimulation. If all the birds respond to increasing day length together, both peak production and persistency of egg production increase. Hens lay more eggs for a longer period of time if they are in prime condition. Combined with better mating success, we hope to increase chick production on Canadian farms from 120 to over 140 chicks per hen. There are significant environmental benefits too. If more chicks can be produced with less feed and less water, then less carbon dioxide, methane, ammonia, and manure are put back into the environment. When we first introduced the precision feeding system to producers, uh, really got the impression that they didn't feel that a system like that could really work. And so they really challenged us in, in the meetings to, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? And those suggestions, we actually took them and implemented some of those suggestions. And I feel that that has made our system that much stronger. Um, now we went to a meeting in the Canadian Hatching Egg Producers in July in Waska Sioux, and the producers there were they were so enthralled with the system and what it could do and that we had 100% uniformity and could demonstrate that, that now we have producers that are actually clamoring to have the system in their barns so that they could test them. So it's really been a privilege for me to work on this station to be able to see how producers have started off and now the, the wheels in their minds are starting to see how they could actually make a system like that work in their facilities. From a nutritionist perspective, we always want to match the nutrient supply to the nutrient requirements of the animal. If the feed that you're using uh, changes, if the wheat, the, the energy content of the wheat is a little lower, the bird actually needs to eat a little bit more in order to grow the right amount. By weighing the bird, we always know whether the bird needs to eat more and we can make that adjustment on the fly. If the barn temperature is a little warmer, 
nutrient requirements might drop a little bit. The bird isn't losing as much energy to the environment. And the system will know that it might take a little longer before the bird needs another meal. If a bird is laying eggs, the system will recognize that this bird is quite light. It just lost 60 or 70 grams from the egg it laid and will compensate and feed the bird that, uh, that laid the egg. That's something that we've been hoping to do forever. We've, we want to feed birds that are in production more than birds that aren't in production and precision feeding allows us to do that. Precision agriculture is the future of agriculture. There are so many benefits for the welfare of birds, reduced stress for the farmer, production efficiency, and ultimately, the cost of food. We think of precision broiler breeder feeding as an important contribution to sustainable agriculture. The opportunity that we've explored, getting to know the individual bird, and being able to precisely manage a flock to increase its productivity has been tremendously exciting.